Hello, I'm Dave Speakman. Welcome back to my beginner guitar course. This week we're going to look at the chords to the Benny King tune, Stand By Me. It kind of revolves around this riff going, you know. Yeah, it's kind of that sort of vibe, yeah? We're going to play it with a capo just so that we don't need any bar chords or anything because we're not quite at bar chords yet. We'll get there soon enough. So I'm going to put the capo at the second fret and that effectively means that when I'm playing the chord G, that it sounds like the chord A now. Okay. So we're going to need these chords. So we're capoed at fret two, but we need the chords G, E minor, C, and D. Okay. Now it's quite an interesting rhythm to this, so it literally just goes like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. So we're just going to play it with two down strums, like this. And that's the rhythm. Let's just play the tune, it's pretty straightforward. Two, uh, one, two, three, four. And we could kind of groove this up a little bit if we want to. Now, even though that's what it says on the chart, quite often what it says on the chart for a guitar isn't necessarily what you should play, believe it or not. Guitarists tend to kind of embellish things and make things sound a bit better. I mean, most instrumentalists do really, if they're any good, especially in contemporary music. So we could maybe just get a little thing going with a little tap in between, sort of. Well, certainly we could stop it in between, just like this, with, with rests. Which, I mean, really, it's a similar thing, isn't it? So, with the rests, we're just putting the hand down gently. Whereas with the tapping, we're actually sort of... And again, these things, sometimes they're written on the chart. If we wanted to write that, it'd just be some sort of X for for a sound, really. There's, there's only so many ways that you can write things on the guitar. There's lots of different sounds and scratches and all this. And they're all kind of just written with Xs on the guitar, generally. When the traditional notation was devised for the guitar, people didn't tend to play a lot of those sounds. It's more like a contemporary thing on the guitar where lots of people now, they kind of play different sounds in different places and you actually get different sounds hitting your guitar in different ways. What I'm doing when I'm playing here is essentially I'm just tapping back and if the strings hit the top fret, we actually get a higher pitched, more percussive sound. Let's play like that, it sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? So one, two, a one, two, three, four. Yeah, maybe do it a little bit slower, so we go.
Now, obviously, if you're struggling, you can play it even slower than that. There's no rush with these things. Just do things at the pace that you need to do them at. Great. Thank you for sticking with me with the course. Please do subscribe, please do like the video. Remember that you can download sheets from our website for all of these sheets, they're always there. And you can go back to a previous video in the playlist if there's anything that you're not understanding. Please do leave me some comments in the comments below if you have any questions about anything. Somebody was asking me this week about what guitar to buy. More than happy to give you any advice that, that you need really. Thank you very much.